हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मनोज कुंडारे दी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक साइंस वेलकम बैक टू आवर ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी वेर स्टडीड द वेरियस कंसेप्ट यूज इन द कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इन दैट वीडियो वी वेर लर्न अबाउट द बैंडविथ सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशो बीट रेट बर्ड रेट चैनल कैपेसिटी एट्सेट्रा द लिंक ऑफ द प्रीवियस वीडियो इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स please check it now let's take a short summary about the previous video in that video we were learn about the bandwidth we know that the bandwidth is the range of frequencies that contains the information the bandwidth are classified into two types signal bandwidth and channel bandwidth it is very simple the bandwidth of a signal is called as signal bandwidth and bandwidth of a channel is called as channel bandwidth but let's see the technical definition about the signal bandwidth and the channel bandwidth the signal bandwidth is defined as the portion of electromagnetic spectrum occupied by a signal is called as signal bandwidth while the channel bandwidth is defined as the range of frequencies required to transmit the desired signal is called as the channel bandwidth we can calculate the channel bandwidth or the signal signal bandwidth by this way if this is the range of any signal or channel and this is the upper limit or upper frequency and this is the lower frequency then simply we can calculate the bandwidth of the signal as f2 minus f1 that means bandwidth is also defined as the difference between the upper frequency limit and the lower frequency limit i hope you all understand what is mean by bandwidth and how it is calculated now let's see the signal to noise ratio it is very simple that the ratio of signal power the ratio of signal power to the noise power is called as the signal to noise ratio the next term is the bit rate or also it is called as the data rates it is defined as the number of bits transmitted or sent in one second is called as the bit rate it is expressed in bits per second similarly we can define as the bird rate the bird rate is in a number of signal level changes in given interval of time is called as the bird rate if the two level signals is present then in this case bit rate and word rate are same but if the levels of the signals are high that means if the signal level is 4 then the bit rate and word rate are not same the next term is the channel capacity the channel capacity simply define as the maximum data rates at which the digital data can be transmitted is called as the channel capacity i hope you all understand all these terms now let's start our today's point named as nyquist's theorem and shannon's theorem let's see the theoretical background about these two theorems or where these theorems are used in data communication a large data is required to transfer from one place to the other place it is necessary to transmit it as quickly as possible in other words the data rates in bits per second over a channel should be as high as possible the data rate is decided by the following factors the maximum bandwidth the signal level the noise presented by the channel that means if we want to transmit the more number of data bits then we required these conditions what are these condition first of all we required the maximum bandwidth of a signal the 
maximum signal level of a signal and the less number of noise presented by the channel now next let's see the two theorems were developed to calculate the data rates and we can use them on the basis of the type of a channel as follows the nyquist theorem used in a noiseless channel while the shannon theorem used in a noisy channel let's see first the nyquist theorem as we know a transmission channel is a medium over which the electrical signals travel from transmitter towards the receiver the two important characteristics of the transmission channel are signal to noise ratio and channel bandwidth these two characteristics will ultimately decide the maximum capacity of the channel to carry information nyquist and shannon worked on the finding the maximum channel capacity that means the two theorems nyquist theorem and shannon theorem are used to find the maximum channel capacity or used to find the maximum data rate i hope you all understand the basic concepts about the nyquist theorem and the shannon theorem let's see once again the nyquist theorem is used where the noiseless channel is present and generally it is used to find the maximum channel capacity or the maximum data rate while the shannon theorem is used when it is suppose that there is a noise present on a channel and it is also used to find the maximum channel capacity and the channel or the rate of transmission of data let's see the statement of the nyquist theorem the nyquist theorem states that if the bandwidth of the transmission channel is b which carries a signal having l number of levels then the maximum data rate r on this channel is given by r is equal to 2 into b log to the base 2 into l that means this is the statement of the nyquist theorem for the maximum data rate let's see once again r is equal to where r is the data rate 2 into b b is the bandwidth into log to the base 2 into l where l is the number of signal levels as the maximum data rate for reliable for transmission is defined as the channel capacity c the above expression can be modified as simply this r is replaced by c because the maximum data rate is equal to the channel capacity hence it is also written as c is equal to 2 into b into log to the base 2 into l this expression indicates that the data rate can be increased by increasing the number of different signal levels that means from this equation we can conclude that this the number of data rate can be increased by the number of signal levels that means if these signal levels are increased ultimately the data rate is also increased i hope you all understand the Ny- the statements of the nyquist theorem let's see the shannon's theorem the theorem is concerned with the rate of transmission r over a communication channel the channel capacity c is the rate of transmission in bits per second according to the theorem for r less than or equal to c it is possible to use some coding technique and make transmission error even if noise present on the communication channel let's see the negative statements of the shannon theorem it states that given source of equally like message with m much greater than 1 which is generating an information at rate r and if r greater than c then the probability of the error is close to unity 
for every possible set of m transmitted signal now let's see the meaning of the shannon's theorem according to the shannon's theorem if s upon n is the signal to the noise ratio then the maximum data rate is given by r is equal to b into log to the base 2 into square bracket 1 plus signal to noise ratio bracket complete bits per second that means by the shannon's theorem we can calculate the maximum data rate by this formula and which is r is equal to b into log to the base 2 into bracket 1 plus signal to noise ratio the unit of the data rate we know that bits per second the shannon's theorem puts limit on the maximum number of levels for given signal to noise ratio and bandwidth this expression shows that the maximum data rate for a communication channel is dependent on the channel bandwidth and the signal to noise ratio that means in Nyquist theorem we studied that the Nyquist theorem is used in the case where the noise is not present on the channel and the formula for the Nyquist theorem is that r is equal to 2 into b log to the base 2 into l where l is the number of signal levels hence in that case the data rate rate is depends on the signal the number of signal levels but in case of the shannon's theorem the data rate r is depends on the signal to noise ratio and the bandwidth and in shannon's theorem or the shannon's theorem is used in the case where it is considered as the noise is present on the channel and the noise factor is represented by this ratio i hope you all understand what is mean by the nyquist theorem and the shannon's theorem later we will see some examples on these two theorems thank you students